So we'll choose uh, this file, click submit, um, and oh, okay, maybe not. Yeah, it'll be 17. Sorry. Okay, so let's refresh. So we've got JPEG. Now this uh, we've achieved the result that we want. However, we need a dynamic way of choosing um, of choosing this um, extension because we're not always going to rely on um, on knowing how many characters the file name is. For example, if I cho chose uh, file.php and click submit, nothing comes up because um, this is not work because we don't have exactly 17 characters up to the dot. So we need um, another function which is called strpos which stands for string position and what we need to do is we need to grab the string position from name of the dot okay and then we need to add one to that and the reason we need to add one to that is because we're looking for the position of the dot and then after that meaning one after that we need to take and that will be the j so we find the dot one after that will be j and then the rest will be pg so let's just check how this works. Remember we selected uh, this image file first and we click submit. So that seemed to return uh, everything correctly. Now let's choose the file.php, click submit and you can see that it's given us PHP. So just by combining these two functions we found this really easy way to grab the file extension. And then obviously as well as this extension here we've got um, the type of file here. So that can go up there for now. Okay, so let's remove these, and what we need to do is perform a couple of checks to see if um, the file is um, is what we want it to be. So we want it to be a JPEG file. So we need to add in uh, just over after here. We need to say if not empty name and extension equals JPG or extension equals JPEG because sometimes they can be named JPEG um, what we can also check for is it would be good idea to check for uppercase as well because otherwise uh, it won't be allowed so what we can do is we can actually say str to lower and what that's going to do is that's going to take the str the um, the uh, extension name and make it lowercase so we, we don't need to check for JPG in lowercase JPG a JPEG in lowercase and then in uppercase. This is going to automatically make the extension lowercase so we only need to check two times. Uh, and then we need to say um, and uh, type equals equals uh, image forward slash JPEG. Okay, so now um, let's see, I'll oh, empty. Okay, let's take this out of here actually because. Um, yeah, let's take that out of there and we'll create a new if statement down here so if and we can paste that in there let's just get rid of that and that there so it's nice and tidy um, so if the extension equals JPEG or the extension equals JPEG and the type equals image JPEG then we process this so let's just indent that so we look we look neat let's just check where that's going to end that one ends there that one ends there Okay, so uh, let's just indent that. Okay, so we've performed a check now and then we're obviously gonna add an else on there. So, echo file must be jpg, jpeg. Okay, so let's give it a test. Let's choose a file. We're gonna choose this Nicola Worsley file. C click submit, um, pass error on line 11. So let's go and debug this. So 11, if empty, oh there we go, we're missing uh, another uh, bracket on there, that was me messing around. So let's refresh the page, oh and 13 as well, okay, should be there, so let's check what's wrong here, uh, it would be one missing on there, so I'm missing out all my brackets. Um, okay, so that's uploaded, so let's go and check that, um, that might have just overwritten that file again, yeah, so it has. Um, let's just delete these actually, so we can keep an eye on what's happening and what's not. So let's just star in there. Let's just delete these files here. Click yes. Okay, so uh, as far as we uh, are going now, there's nothing in here. So let's try and upload our um, our image file again. So choose file, 
Uh, choose that. Click submit. That's uploaded. So uh, uh, as we uh, st as it stands at the moment, we presume that this has been uploaded. So I'm going to click on uploads. Yeah, it's there and everything's worked. Now let's go and try and upload a PHP file and see what happens. Submit file must be jpg forward slash jpeg so now you can see how we've used these two methods of security we're first of all checking our custom extension which we've taken we've taken from the name and the original type of the file and we've checked for that so we're checking that the file exists and now obviously you can add in uh, more logical operators to check for different types of file but there is actually a, an easier way to do that using arrays so uh, we'll do that probably later on so that's basically a bit of form security in the next video we're going to be talking out about how to check for the file size which we've currently got grayed out here